Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I thank you for dying on the cross for me. And Lord, please forgive me of every sin I've ever committed in my entire life. Lord Jesus, I will stand upon my watch. Habakkuk chapter 2, verses 1 to 4. I'm going to I'm going to work on the things that I need to work on Lord Jesus Christ to please you Lord the things that I that are in my heart that I, that don't belong inside of my body that I don't I don't no longer want inside of my body Lord Jesus I don't want to have bad habits I don't want to have things that separate me from you Lord Jesus Christ I just want to I just want you I just want to be as close to you as I possibly can I want to grow my relationship with you more and more every single day all the time Lord Jesus Christ and Lord, I want to be able to accept your correction also too, Lord Jesus. I want to stand, watch, and I, I want you to set me on my tower, and I want to be able to, um, to handle your correction also too, Lord Jesus. And Father, I'm going to write these things down, Lord things that I don't want as a part of my life anymore, Lord Jesus. I'm going to make it plain, and I'm going to write them not, not only on a piece of paper, but I'm going to write them on the tables of my heart, Lord Jesus, so that the enemy will run when he reads it, Lord Jesus. And he'll know that I'm serious, and I don't want to have any parts of this. And I, I, I look forward to not doing certain things that I'm doing in my life anymore. For the vision is yet appointed uh, time, so it's going to happen. It's going to happen in your timing and not mine, but my desire is there for it to happen as soon as possible for these things to be just relinquished and disposed of out of my life, Lord Jesus. And at the end, I'll see the results and the end shall speak and the end will increase my faith and belief in you. And I could give you all the honor, glory and praise forever because I know that you did it and I will tell everybody I will. I will be a better example for myself and also a better example for, for everyone else, Lord Jesus Christ. And I'll wait. I'll wait. But I'm going to be waiting for sure. Wait, waiting and watching, Lord Jesus. And I stand watch, Lord Jesus. And on my tower, Lord Jesus. I just don't want it to tarry for too long. But it, like, I, like you said, it's, it's all in your timing. It's all in your appointed time. Lord Jesus. So I'll be patient, but I'm going to keep talking to you and I'm going to keep pressing into a relationship with you like I've never had before because that's important to me. And I won't come to you in shame and I won't come to you in guilt. Not too much, but you'll know that I'm, I'm not pleased uh, with, with certain things that I do. And I need your help. I just need your help, Lord Jesus. And you know it. And um, I'll be waiting on your help and I'll be looking for uh, for. Um, at myself and the results that I can produce myself and the results that you produce inside of me because these things are important to me I really want to walk close with, closely with you and I don't want to build a wall I want you to break all barriers break all walls and pull down every stronghold because you're mighty for that because my soul Lord Jesus it's not upright my body ain't upright it does but my mind's not upright Lord Jesus but I pray that you will come in and then just Cleanse and purify my mind, my thinking, my thoughts, my habits, Lord Jesus Christ, my body, you know, help me to get rid of illnesses and, you know, sicknesses and plagues that are in my body, Lord Jesus, soreness and, you know, whatever's going on in my body, I just pray that you just touch me, Lord Jesus, and touch me now in Jesus' name, and, and pull down every stronghold in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord Jesus. Bind up everything that's unlike you, Lord Jesus, and I cast them down in the mighty name. I bind them, cage them, and chain them, and I ask you send mighty uh, warrior angels to arrest everything that's unclean and unlike you inside of me, Lord Jesus, and cast it down now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, because I am the just, and I live by your faith, Lord Jesus. I have faith in you. And I love you very, very much. And I know that you love me very, very much. And you want the best for me. But you give me tests and you give me trials to do. And I would just want to pass them all. That's my desire. I want to pass every single test. And I'm going to press into you and I'm going to keep talking to you. And I'm going to keep reading your word. I'm going to keep praising you. I'm going to keep worshiping you. And I'm going to keep 
trying to see you, Lord, because I know you're with me. You are with me all of the time. You're with, you're with everybody all of the time, but you are particularly with me as an individual, listening to me, watching me, having angel take, angels take notes, writing, writing a book, my own book and everything like that. It's important to me because I want to do some mighty things for you in the future, and I want to be ready to rule the universe with you when the time comes, Lord Jesus. I know that I'm a son of yours or a daughter of yours, and I just want to be the best son or the best daughter that I possibly can. I want to make you proud, Lord Jesus Christ, and I want to make myself proud also, too, that I did them. And I want to know that I did the best that I possibly could. In Jesus Christ's name, Lord, feed, shelter, and give fresh water, clothing, to everyone around the world that needs to save every soul and let every individual in this world know that you love them very, 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 very much. You know, give, give everyone a full belly today. Warm clothes, boots, uh, coats, hats, a roof over their head, you know, heat in their, in, in their dwelling, their house, Lord, fresh water to drink. Lord, you know, the basic necessities, Lord, and let them know, let just, just pour out your love and pour out your spirit upon all flesh, Lord Jesus, and separate the wheat from the tares, in Jesus Christ's name. I give you all the honor and the praise and the glory forever and ever. Amen.